How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Um, this morning I wanted to talk about uh, the right time to quit drinking again. Um, I know I've talked about this a few times, but you know it's just one of those things that just keeps cop- cropping up in in the comments and uh, over the email, that kind of stuff, you know. <clears throat> um, you know, I think you, 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 you've really got to look at this from the perspective of how long have you been, um, how long have you had a problem with alcohol, right? Now, when I'm talking about a problem with alcohol, I'm talking about anybody, right? Uh, anybody who drinks alcohol has got a problem with alcohol, right? Um, it's exactly the same way as uh, anybody who smokes cigarettes has got a problem. You know, there's, we're, we're no longer in that time when uh, cigarettes, any person who's smoking cigarettes is considered to be sort of normal. Um, they might be normal in their own circumstances and their own situations, but at the end of the day, it's a, a toxic habit that has got no benefits at all. Um, and even though we're not there yet um, in the wider world, alcohol is going to be on that list as well of things that <clears throat> things that people shouldn't be doing to themselves, you know. Um, it's a drug. It's... Uh, toxin it is not good for you no matter who says it is good for you i read a fucking article recently of this guy who said yeah in actual fact is a a, a scandinavian doctor from finland or sweden or somewhere like that and this dickhead came out and said yeah actually you know you can drink up to um i think it was a bottle of wine a night um or five, six pints a night, and you'd be grand, you know, and you'd be better off doing that than drinking, uh, than drinking nothing, right, than abstaining. You know, that kind of nonsense, that kind of, is, is deadly. I mean, it just keeps people from drinking. And this guy wrote a book about it. Uh, I'm not going to put the book's name down. Um, I don't know it here anyway, but... And basically he was working for um, a company that was researching uh, alcohol and the effects of alcohol on people. And it was another one of these dickwad companies that were backed by alcohol companies. You know, the list of alcohol companies that were backing them was, was immense. So, yeah, yeah, I'm just rambling with this guy, but, you know, it just annoyed me when I saw that. And it was one of the major newspapers that had carried it and obviously they're trying to get clickbait and get people to read you know they want their story read and um yeah so for me <clears throat> even one drink right is um means that you've got an alcohol problem you're putting alcohol into your body instead of washing the dog with it you know you know so Another question you should be asking yourself is, you know, how many times have you tried to moderate or cut back? You said, yeah, I'm drinking a bit too much and I want to cut back now on what I'm doing and, um, you know, whatever that moderation has been and how many times were you successful? You know, I got an email off a guy yesterday and he was saying uh, that he had successfully quit drinking. He was off it for a year and a half and then that inevitability came around where he said yeah I'm able to control this prove to myself that I can control it and I think that I can go back and I can moderate and I can take a couple of pints at the weekend or a glass of wine with my dinner I can't remember exactly what he was drinking but he said it took him a while you know three or four months but within that small time range, he was back to exactly where he started off again. And that's the way of it, you know, is to 
you know, when you enjoy drinking, when you like drinking for a specific reason, your brain automatically goes back to that same time. <clears throat> and even if it didn't, right, that's what your brain wants to do. That's what your mind wants to do, you know. You want to drink because you like the buzz. You like getting drunk. So what's the point of drinking one or two glasses just to prove that you can? Just to prove that, well, yeah, I'm being sociable and I'm enjoying it. Now, as I say, go to any cafe now in the world and have a look at people who are sitting outside and they're smoking their e-cigarettes, their bongs, whatever they call them. What are they called? I don't know. But they look miserable. You know, there's not one of them that, that would, if, <clears throat> if the chance came and somebody could turn around to them and said, yeah, here's a cigarette. It's a proper cigarette. Tastes like a cigarette, smokes like a cigarette, feels like a cigarette, gives you the same buzz as a cigarette, but there is absolutely no risk to it. That wouldn't switch back to the cigarettes again from their e-cigarette, not one of them. Um, so it's a, it's only a substitute and a poor substitute of that. Um, but going back to the drinking thing and the moderation, it's, you know, you can kid yourself as much as you want that you enjoy the one or two glasses of wine, but at the end of the day, what you want to do is get drunk. And eventually that will come around when you'll get a time when you go, yeah, oh, yeah, just, I'll just have a, I'll have an extra one tonight, you know, and that one more is not going to make any difference. You know, I'm drinking two, so I'm drinking three now. That's how you got started out in the beginning. You know, that's how all of this starts out. Alcohol is a drug and no matter, you know, how much you pretend it's not and how much you think, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the one in control. It's only an illusion. The only thing that's in control inside you is your body's reaction to the alcohol and you can't control that. You know, that's um, it's a natural response to any toxin coming into your body that your body will eventually uh, tolerate it. So, you know, when, when you're thinking about the, if this is the right time, you know, ask yourself all these questions, you know. Have I ever tried to cut down before? Have I ever tried to stop before? Have I ever, um, how long have I been drinking alcohol? How long um, have I considered myself to have a problem with alcohol? Uh, and you'll get your answer. You know, that there is no right time to quit that. You know, the, the, the poisoning is happening every day, all the time. Every time you pick up a bottle and take a swig, that's more poisoning, more damage being done to your body. You know, think about all the problems that are happening now in your body because you're drinking alcohol. Think about all the problems that are going to happen in your body in the future. You know, maybe next week, maybe next month, next year, because you're drinking alcohol. You know, and that all disappears, all that. All those problems disappear, as well as the stress that we sort of go through as a result of this, you know. I mean, this is not when you're, when you're talking about the poisoning and the toxicity and, you know, not just the poisoning to your life, the poisoning to your mind, poisoning to your life, the poisoning to your relationships, you know. Alcohol is a toxic element in all of those areas. And when you think about those, um, from that perspective, this immediately lifts when you stop, you know, all of this. The only thing that stays, that is replaced with, um, after you've stopped drinking, is you get discomfort because you're changing yourself, you're changing your habit, you're getting outside your comfort zone. But isn't that worth it? You know, it doesn't take that long. You know, you'll get such a buzz 
when you have completed your first week away from alcohol you know if you do this right if you get your head in the right place you'll get such a buzz you know you get such a buzz after two weeks then after three weeks and you've been off it for a month six months and a year that's one of the best feelings uh, after a year being off the off the booze and you know what are you waiting for you know at the end of the day people who wait like this you know um i mean how do you know you're not going to be waiting for the rest of your life if you keep putting it off until a time when you think you're going to be stronger tomorrow how do you know that you're ever going to be stronger because you won't you know like that's not the way this works when you put things off when you procrastinate when you uh, say no i'll do it tomorrow that person tomorrow is not going to be a stronger person because you put it off today he's going to be a weaker person she's going to be a weaker person it's just as simple as that you know and every time you put it off you hold on to all the stress and all the worry that's causing you to quit drinking that's causing you to think about quitting drinking you know all that stress and worry that's still going to be there you know there's going to be more because you've also put it off but you're also thinking in your head now maybe i can't do this you know you putting it off till tomorrow is like do you really think that you're going to do it tomorrow are you seriously thinking you're going to do it tomorrow i've done this a lot of times in my past i know it's very easy to say yeah next week i'll do it and you're pumped up in the moment but the closer you get to that time when you have to quit the more stressed you get and the more stressed you get the less you want to do it you know um, you get fearful and fear is the thing that's going to stop you and you know fear is bullshit fear is only inside yourself it's not anything um outside nothing outside is causing you to feel fearful it's your reaction to it you know and your reaction is you know that, that that's what's going to stop you every time but you don't have to have that reaction you know you, you can just say well instead of thinking about it until tomorrow or next week or the right time um i'm going to do it now there's no time like the present you know there is no time like right now for doing any of this stuff because right now is the only time you've got to do it right and if you keep putting it off until tomorrow tomorrow never comes you know get it over and done with put up with the discomfort um, put up with feeling a bit shit for a while you know none of us want to feel that you know i want to do a video about that that's a that's a good one anyway look if you have any any questions at all any comments leave them down below um, love to hear what you have to say about the right time and what your right time is what do you think about that you know is there ever a right time to quit I know there can be certain wrong times to quit fair enough you know you don't quit when um, if somebody's just died you don't quit right then if you've quit then fair enough you don't quit when the day when there's going to be a big party on that kind of stuff right but other than that you know not only a day two days maybe three days at most you know and you're back into it so look um come on over to the website and you'll find the audio for this beneath the video if you want to listen to to it or any of the other videos you can also go get the audio on uh, itunes if you want to help out um alcohol mastery me with the uh, videos you can go over to patreon and become a patron of the show it's patreon and just search for alcohol mastery um, my page will go up there and you can become a patron for as little as two euros i think it is or two dollars two dollars so anyway until next time i'm kevin o'hara for alcoholmastery.com <laughs> onwards and upwards <laughs>